Oh, is that a fish? Yes, yes, I do it. I have, oh, whoa, wow. What the heck? Oh my gosh, this is good. This is good. Guys, it is an amazing day out today. It is 70 degrees on the button at 5.15 p.m. Got some lures I wanna try out. Uh, we'll see if any of them work today. Uh, gonna target bass, but also some pickerel would be great. Bowfin would be great. I'd also like to thank you guys. I just passed 500 subscribers, so awesome. Thank you for that. I'll do a, a video soon for uh, a giveaway. But enough of me talking. Uh, let's go catch some fish, hopefully. All right, so the question is, what will I be fishing with today? Let's find out. Here we go. All right, this is something I've been wanting to try. Missile baits, wicked craw, craw father. Yeah, I'm gonna Texas rig this and uh, get it out there. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I've never actually used a missile bait to catch a, to catch a bass before, so let's get on it. All right, guys, I just simply Texas rigged it right there, put a little bit of bullet weight on there, and uh, gonna get it out there, see how it does. I am using my Jawbone pole, uh, my Nitrous Quantum uh, reel, the pole uh, six foot six, 10 to 20 pound line, there's 10 on here, and medium heavy action, so. This is kind of like my all-around bass fishing um, bait casting setup. So let's uh, catch ourselves a bass. All right, so the water seems a little lower than it normally is. A lot of current right here. So there's probably a good current break right in there. There's probably some juicy bass right in there. Might be some right here, but I probably spooked them away probably just by standing here. But right in there might be a good spot. I had luck there last time, so that's definitely where I'm going to cast first. All right, well, I wasn't having too many bites over here anyways. Try another area. It's always good when you're bass fishing to move around. Don't camp out in one spot, you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Oh no. It took off. I mean, it could have been a bluegill. I keep feeling like these little tugs. I'm guessing the bluegills are just kind of picking at it like that. Could have been a bass though. There we go, fish. Ooh, this isn't too bad. This is not too bad, what is this? Ooh, is this a pickerel? Oh, it is, it is. It's not a bad one either. Get up here, get up here, get up here, get up here, yes! Awesome, yes! Heck yeah, heck yeah, I need my grippers because I am not reaching in that not reaching in that mouth. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Very nice. I wonder if this beats my PB. Probably not, but we'll try. Or we probably won't because I don't have my scale with me. <laughs> oh, of course I don't. My problem is I put it in my pocket when I fish, and then when I go home, I forget it in my pocket and I put it on my, uh, on my kitchen counter, and then boom, I forget it in my kitchen, so, that's okay, that's okay. It's a, he might be smaller, but it's fine, I don't really need it, he, if, if he, if he is my PB, he definitely doesn't beat it by much, so I don't really need to, to weigh him, but definitely need some photos. My first catch of the day, beat the skunk with you. But you're my third pick roll ever, buddy. All right, photo's taken. Woo! Oh, you self-released. Look at you. I hopped down here. He fell off the thing and. Slid right down there. 
<laughs> awesome, that is a good first fish, man. Heck yeah, on the missile craw. Good stuff. Oh yeah, that feels good. Look at this. On the missile craw, and I still got this one pretty good. It's not tore up, considering the wicked teeth that they have. All right, so even though the thing has a weight on it, it still sinks pretty slowly, so got to give it plenty of time to sink to the bottom. And just give it slight little tugs here and there. Let it sit. Kind of like how I do a Ned rig, just little tugs. Let it sit. Little tugs. Let it sit. Basically all I do. Oh, bite. Oh, no. I was adjusting my GoPro on my chest and then had a bite. It grabbed it and it took off a little bit with it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, stuck. Let's see here if I can walk on the bridge and get it unstuck over there. Got it out. Well, I'm halfway across the bridge. Might as well cross it completely. Oh, shoot. That scared the crap out of me. Something chased it in the shallow water right there, and I guess it attacked it and maybe took off. Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. Oh no. No. Damn. That's a goner. Ugh. All right. Retie, get another one on there. All right, I put a little bit of a bigger weight on this time. We'll see if that works any differently. Yeah, it's definitely easier to cast, I'll tell you that. Oh, is that a fish? Yes, yes, I do it. I have, oh, whoa, wow, what the heck. Oh my gosh, this is good, this is good. Ooh, it's, oh my gosh, am I recording? Yes, I am, thank God. Oh, he's coming right at me, he's coming right at me. Ooh, it's another pickerel, it's good. Ooh, ooh. Stay calm, stay calm, don't come off. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Oh, heck yeah, this is definitely my PB and I don't have my dang scale. Oh. Wow, that's a good one. That is a good one. Maybe I can measure him if I have a measuring tape. There we go. God dang, look at him. Heck yeah. Oh, boy. Wow, that is a huge mouth. Oh no, the grippers aren't working. Stay on this time, please. Their mouths are a little different than bass, so I guess it's not as easy. And there's a plane going over, ruining my audio probably. <laughs> Ooh, that slipped right out, did y'all see that? Wow, this is definitely my PB and I don't have my scale. Do I have my measuring tape at least? Cause then I can kind of, get an estimate online I guess oh geez calm down oh, no I don't have my measuring tape this is what happens when you're unprepared Tyler I can put it up against the pole I guess all right okay against my pole I don't know if y'all can see that right there tail edge of the mouth is right about here it's about an inch um, above the Jawbone logo right here. So I can measure that later. All right guys, so I'm editing this video right now and I measured it later, it turned out to be 20 inches long. So a 20 inch chain pickerel here. Uh, I tried to find online where I could find out 
uh, an inch to weight ratio for chain pickerel. Uh, I found uh, mixed results. Um, one website said a 20 inch pickerel is 1.8 pounds. Another one said it's 2.1 pounds. So maybe we can just kind of average it together and say two pounds? We'll just go with two. Nice. Definitely my PB. Ooh. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Hopefully I get a better release than your buddy I did. Ugh, it's too far down. Okay, this is gonna... Okay, yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye, sorry about that release, buddy. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on. All right, he's slowly swimming off, all right. Wow, heck yeah, ladies and gentlemen, heck yeah. God, two pickerel. Uh, that one, definitely my PB. Unfortunately, forgot my scale, which happens from time to time. So, so far, that's two good fish for the uh, missile baits. It's uh, working pretty good. I still got a lot of daylight left. Yeah, I got over an hour of daylight left. This is good. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun, man. This is fun. I'm excited. I'm genuinely excited when I catch nice fish, you know? They don't have to be always be big. They could just be something more exotic and I'm more different than I'm used to catching and whatnot. But uh, yeah. All right, let's just, let's go let's go back to fishing. All right, well, we know pickerel like this uh, craw bait, but uh, so far no bass have uh, participated in my video today. Oh, got some scales on me. Yeah. Okay, well, I've gotten both of these pickerel right in this area right here. I believe I got the first one right about there, and that one was over there. So, uh, lucky spot, I think, is developing here today. <laughs> There's a goose thing right there. Or a duck thing, whatever it is. Like one of those decoys. That's a little interesting, but okay. Let's get back to fishing. Guys, it's a beaver. Dove under. Cool. All right, guys, that uh, definitely will wrap it up for me today. Uh, it's getting a little too dark. Got a little bit of a walk back to the car, but uh, missile baits did it for me today. The little craw imitation. Gosh, man, that was uh, definitely my PB pickerel. Unfortunately, did not have my uh, scale with me today. That'll teach me to forget, but I did get a measurement, so that'll work. Uh, I can probably figure out an estimated weight from that. But uh, we'll see. So yeah, this is my first time trying missile, any any missile bait really, and uh, worked pretty well. <laughs> the target species technically was bass, but I will take anything because that's the type of fisherman I am. If you'd be so kind as to hit that like and subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. As usual, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out.